Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. 2 to the power x is equal to 125 and 5 to the power y is equal to 128. Our job is to find all possible values of x times y. Let's call this equation equation number 1 and this equation equation number 2. First we start from this equation number 1. Equation number 1 is 2 to the power x is equal to 125. First we take log of both sides. So this will become log of 2 to the power x is equal to log of 125. By using this log property, log of a to the power m is equal to m times log of a. This log of 2 to the power x will become times log of 2 is equal to log of 125. Now if we divide both sides by log of 2, this implies that x is equal to log of 125 divided by log of 2. Now in the same way from equation number 2 we find the value of y. Equation 2 is 5 to the power y is equal to 128. And we take log of both sides this will become log of 5 to the power y is equal to log of 128 and by using this log property this will become y times log of 5 is equal to log of 128 and if we divide both sides by log of 5 then this implies that y is equal to log of 128 8 divided by log of 5. Now we have to find the value of x times y. So we multiply these two equations. This will become x times y is equal to x is log of 125 divided by log of 2 multiplied by y is log of 128 divided by log of 5. Next, x times y is equal to this log of 125 can be written as log of 5 cubed divided by log of 2 times this uh, log of uh, 128 can be written as uh, log of uh, 2 to the power 7 divided by log of uh, 5. Next, x times y is equal to by using this log property log of uh, a to the power m is equal to m times uh, log of a. This uh, log of 5 cubed will become 3 times log of 5 divided by this log of 2 times this log of 2 to the power 7 will become 7 times log of 2 divided by log of 5. Now this log of 5 will be cancelled out with this log of 5 and this log of 2 will be cancelled out with this log of 2 and we are left with x times y is equal to 3 times 7 and x times y will be equal to 21. So this is the required value of x times y. This is the final answer of this problem. Now let's solve this system of equations by using another method 
without using logarithms so let's call this equation equation number one and this equation equation number two we start from equation number one equation one is uh, 2 to the power x is equal to 125 and uh, in this method we take power y on both sides at uh, right hand side we take power y and uh, at left hand side we take power y so by using this power rule a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n this uh, 2 to the power x whole to the power y will become 2 to the power x times y is equal to this uh, 125 is same as uh, 5 cubed whole to the power y x 2 to the power x times y is equal to by using this property a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power n whole to the power m we can write this power y inside the brackets and uh, this power 3 outside the brackets so this will become 5 to the power y whole to the power 3 now in place of this uh, 5 to the power y we put this value of 5 to the power y 128 from equation number 2 so this will become 2 to the power x times y is equal to 5 to the power y is equal to this 128 so this will become 128 whole to the power 3 next 2 to the power x times y is equal to 128 is same as 2 to the power 7 whole to the power 3 and uh, 2 to the power x times y is equal to by using this property a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m times n this will become 2 to the power 7 times 3 next 2 to the power x times y is equal to this will become 2 to the power 21 now because we have same base at both sides at left hand side we have base 2 and at right hand side we have base 2 so we can write this exponent x times y equal to this exponent at the right hand side 21 so from here we conclude that uh, x times y is equal to 21 so we have found the same answer as we found from method 1 21